Hello friends, I welcome you all to Doubt Forum. In this question, there is a wire A which is having resistance of 81 ohm and there is another wire B which is made up of same material and of equal length as of wire A but the diameter of wire B is three times the diameter of wire A. So here we have to find out the value of resistance of wire B. So whenever the physical dimension of a conductor is given to us, to calculate the resistance, we always use R is equals to rho into L upon A. Here rho is the resistivity, L is the length, A is the area of cross section. So in this question, area of cross section is not given to us, but diameter is given to us. So what we can do, in place of area of cross section, we can write pi into d by 2 square. So the value of resistance in this case would become rho into L upon pi into d square and this two would be in the numerator. So this is the formula of resistance. Now we can compare the resistance of wire A with wire B. So this formula would become Ra upon Rb. This would become rho A upon rho B into La upon LB into this diameter is in the denominator. So we have to write in the inverse form. So first we will be writing diameter of wire B divided by diameter of wire A and then we will take the square. The constant term we will not write here because it will get cancelled. So from here the value of resistance for wire A is given to us as 81. The value of resistance of wire B we have to find out. In the question it is given that both the wires are made up of same material. So this rho A upon rho B would cancel each other. The length of wire A and wire B is also equal. So this would also cancel. Now the diameter of wire B is 3 times the diameter of wire A. So this diameter of wire B can be written as 3 times the diameter of wire A in denominator the diameter of wire A into whole square. So this D and D would get cancelled and here it comes out to be 3 square 9. So value of RB would be equal to 81 divided by 9 that is 9 ohm. So our answer B would be the correct one. 